Hello everyone. Today I am going to introduce a powerful video and photo editing app called InShot. InShot is very easy to use and you can edit your videos professionally using this exciting app. And the highlighting feature about this app is that you can remove the watermark for free. I'll be teaching you how to edit videos using InShot in this video. So let's begin by clicking on the InShot app. Now when the app opens you can see three options that is videos, photos and collage. As we are going to make a video let's go for the video option. And then you can select your videos or photos that you want to add into your video. So I'm just selecting some of the videos and photos from my gallery. And then when you're done, just click on the tick mark on the bottom right. So this is our workspace. You can see many small icons below and we'll get into all of these options later in this video. So first of all, I'm going to shrink this using my two fingers so that I'll get a better view of the clips added. Now the clip that I want to be at the very beginning of the video is placed at the end. To bring that clip to the beginning, just hold that clip for two seconds. And then you'll see each of these clips like little boxes. So just drag the last clip to the front. Yeah. So we have arranged all the clips in order. Let's play and check. Okay, so the next thing I noticed is that the clip is cut from both sides. That means the canvas is not correct. So let's change the canvas. The first option you see here is the canvas. So here you can select different canvas. Here there are canvas according to the size of Instagram post instagram stories youtube tiktok etc you can also customize your canvas here but for now i'm selecting the youtube canvas and using the slider you see just above it you can zoom in or zoom out so you can set the video according to your wish inside the canvas you can move the video slightly to the left or right using the icons at the left side and you can also set it as fit to screen using the icon on the right side. Once you are done, you can see two tick marks, one on the right and one on the left. The right one is just a single tick which will only apply this canvas to the present clip that you have selected. And the two tick marks on the left side will apply this canvas to the whole clips used in this video. So here it's very easy to set a canvas or an effect to every clip in the video using this double tick option. So we have clicked apply to all. Now the next option here is the music. We can add audios, sound effects or our own voice using this option. Here the first option is music. There are many tracks available in InShot. I'm just gonna select a track and if you liked it you can put a heart so that it will stay in the favorites and it is easy for you to take it every time you do a new video so I used to put this track as the background music for every video I do as I have saved it it is very easy for me to choose this track whenever I do a new video so I have selected this audio and I already have an audio in the original clip so I just need to mute it first. For that just click on the video clip and reduce the volume to 0 percentage. And I don't want this audio, the original audio in any of my video clips. So I am just applying it to all. Now let's try playing it. Okay, now let me edit this audio clip. For that just tap on the audio. So what I'm gonna do is I want to set the volume to 100 percentage till the end of the intro part and then I have to change it to 2 percentage that is just as a background score. So I'm gonna split it right here and the first part I'm going to set it to 100 percentage volume and then I want a smooth ending. So I have added the fade out effect. 
and for the next part of the audio i'm going to select volume and set it to 3% or 4%. For background score it is always better to choose 2, 3 or 4% because only then your normal voice will be audible. You can also crop the audio clip from here. Once you are done click on the tick mark. Now let's add a sound effect. So here click on the effect and here you have so many types of effects so many sound effects like applause baby cry bird sounds animal sounds etc you can select any of these and add it to your video in my music you can select your own audio clips recordings or songs that you have on your phone or you can even extract audio from other video clips if you don't want this audio effect just click on it and then click delete so this clip ends right here and i want to add the same clip again with the same volume and all the settings that i have set earlier so just click on it and then click duplicate so it's very easy you can add this audio till the end of the video and then you can cut the remaining parts if you don't want it now the next option here is record. This option allows you to add original and live voiceovers. So just click on the record option and start to speak when the countdown ends. And once you are done you can click on the red square to stop recording. So you can record your own voice on real time and edit or adjust it according to the clips. You can re-record by clicking on the option on the right or you can cancel the recording by clicking on the cross on the left side. If it's fine, you can click on the tick mark. Okay, now the next option here is to add stickers. There are a lot of stickers available in InShot for free. You can choose from any of these or you can buy stickers if you want. Now if you click on free download, you will get some more stickers. So an ad appears and after the ad, you can get a lot more stickers. So this is my personal favorite. This is what I usually use in my videos. This red arrow can be used when you say click here and all. So just click on it and you can resize, rotate and change its position. You can also click on the pencil icon right next to it and give different transitions. You can give different effects to this emoji. You can give a fade out effect or zoom in effect and all. You can also change the time of the transitions. You can also set the transparency of this emoji over here. Once you are done, you can click on the tick mark. There are so many other stickers that are very useful like the subscribe button, the like button, share button. So this is very useful while you are preparing videos for YouTube. When you click the tick mark, you will see the sticker like this. So you can click on it and increase the duration of its appearance. You can also edit it, duplicate it and so on. One easy way to increase the duration of its appearance is by clicking on the arrows that you see on both sides of the sticker. If you click on it, you can either select clip end or you can select video end. So if you select clip end, this particular sticker will appear until the end of that particular clip. Now if you click video end, it will appear till the end of the video. You can also import GIFs or logos from your gallery. You just need to click here and then click on the plus icon and you can select from your phone. So here I have already used IPSR logo for my previous videos. So that's why it's shown here. I'm just clicking on it and I'll resize and place it over here. Now the next option here is text. You can type in whatever you want and then after that you can resize it, you can change the color, font, transitions etc. So I'm just gonna change the color of this text. 
you can also get other designs like a rainbow effect or a gradient effect you can also change the border color shadow label opacity etc different fonts are also available here and you can also change the text size indent text spacing etc and there is also an option to change the transitions just like we did for the stickers and once you are done you can click the tick mark next option is effects so there are a lot of effects available in in short this is a glitch effect and we have rnb effect snow effect recording effect and so on i will show you two brand new effects this is a retro effect you can also change the value to increase or decrease the intensity of the effect and this is one of my personal favorite the recording effect so this is the latest update in InShot. You can see that the video is different because this happened just after I completed recording of this video. So this is a brand new effect and I really liked it very much. And the next is the filter option. There are a lot of filters in InShot. So you can select the one you like or you can adjust it manually. So if you click on adjust, you can adjust the brightness, contrast, warmth and so many options are available for you to adjust it manually. You can see two new options above the tick mark. One is to reset. So if you didn't like the effects or the adjustments, you can just reset it very easily. And the next one is to compare. After doing some adjustments, you can compare this with the original one so that you can know the differences. Now the next option is pre-cut. Here you can trim, cut or split. So if you want to trim the ends of the video, you can use the trim option. Or if you want to cut a particular part which is in between the video, you can use the cut option. And to split this whole video or this large clip into small clips, you can use the split option. The same option is also available in the main options. You can cut this large clips into smaller ones and edit very easily. Now if you want to undo it, just click on the arrow that you see on the left side. Clicking on the back arrow, you can undo and clicking on the forward arrow you can redo now the next option is to delete i have already shown that just select a clip and then click on delete to delete it now the next one is background so i'm just selecting this clip and then clicking on background there are different options like blurred background or you can select another image from your gallery and set it as a background you can also give solid colors, gradient and this is a new feature. Now you can also give pattern as the background. There are dotted patterns, lines, emojis. It's very nice to see, right? For now, I am just selecting the white background. Now the next option you see here is speed. So this is a very useful tool for me. If I want to add voiceovers, I usually slow down the clip. So just click on a clip and then you can either increase or decrease the speed of the clip. So if you have a lot to say in that particular portion, you can slow down that clip and show it very clearly. And if you want to just fast forward the clip, you can set the speed limit accordingly. One is the normal speed in this feature and the next option is crop. You can crop the canvas and show only that particular portion. So you just need to crop it like this and then click on the tick mark. Next is sound option. We have already seen that. The next option is duplicate. So if you select a clip and click on duplicate, the exact clip will appear just next to it next is rotate if you click on it the video will rotate anti-clockwise 
and the next option is flip you can use this feature to flip the video and the last option you see here is freeze this is a feature that I use the most you can freeze the screen with this feature so if I want to freeze this particular part I'll just keep the cursor over there and then click on freeze so you can see that a three second freezed clip has appeared I can increase the duration of this clip according to the time I want to speak about that particular portion now you can also see a small box in between the clips if you click on that you can change the transition of each clip so you can set how the next clip should appear after the previous one so there are some cool transitions and you can also adjust the duration of the transition when you are done you can click on the tick mark now if you want to add a new clip you can just click on the plus icon you see on the bottom left and add a new video a photo or a blank clip now there is one more exciting feature that has come up in the last update it's called the reverse so this basically helps us to reverse the clip that we have selected so i'm just going to choose this clip and then click on reverse it will take a couple of seconds to process it and once it's processed you can get a reversed version of that particular clip so this feature is useful when you are making videos about your memories or flashbacks and all we have got a watermark over here to remove it just click on it and then click on free remove so this is a very good feature of InShot it removes the watermark for free by just seeing an ad so here the watermark is removed and we have finished editing this video now let's save this you can click on the save on the top right corner and you can either select from any of these pixels or you can customize it so I usually go for 1080 pixels because that's the best quality and if you do not have space or if you want to edit this video after some time you can save it to the draft also by clicking on the back arrow on the top left corner you can select draft and save this video to your draft now let's click on video and you will see a video of 4 minutes and 27 seconds which was our previous video usually I don't edit my videos at a stretch so this will be kept in my draft and I will edit it whenever I get time so after all the edits click on save click on your pixels I am going for 1080 and then your video will start to convert it will not take a lot of time to process the video but it may vary according to the size of the video you can also share to other apps from here just click on the share button and you will see a lot of options you can upload this to the drive share to Facebook Instagram YouTube or WhatsApp and there are a lot of options available here so we have discussed every single feature in InShot and I hope this video was useful for you. Thanks for watching.